Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are going to jump in again, but first of all, we are going to go and do our Isaacal. I asked you guys in the previous episode if you'd like to see Isaacal, and you guys said yes. Uh, although, one thing that a few of you said is you'd like a timestamp for when the episode actually starts. So I will try to remember to do that for you guys, so that you don't have to watch the Isaacal if it's not for you. But we're going to start out with this here and see what we can figure out. So, what's going to be our starting item? Um, let's have a little look-see what we want to do for our starting item. Um... It's not, that's not what I want to do, is it? Nope. Uh, I want to go like that. There you go. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> I like to go for Rebirth to start with because I think Rebirth is just the most items from Rebirth, I think. So it's the better one to go for. But we could also maybe start with Repentance. There's quite a few Repentance items as well. So we do also need to translate this, uh, this site. There you go. Uh, just to make sure we can actually see what's going on here. Okay. Let's start with... <clears throat> What's a good one to go with? Let's start with Mum's Purse. Mum's Purse? Yeah, let's just do Mum's Purse. Why not? Um, actually, it's, it's purple's not a super common color. Let's go for a red item. Let's go for a red item. Let's go with Magneto. Shall we do Magneto? <clears throat> Magneto to start with. So, <clears throat> everything else is wrong. We only know it's passive, which is not a lot to go on. Not a lot to come. We know it's an unlock though now, uh, and we can also come over here and we can clear everything. Uh, we can put everything apart from quality one. That gives us a bit of a leg up. We know it's not flash. Could still be rebirth. I uh, didn't know Magneto was a flash item to be fair. Um, item room, ultra secret room. So it's neither of those. So it's not even an item room item. So let's go with a devil deal item next. Uh, that isn't red. That isn't unlock. Let's let's try that, shall we? Let's try that devil deal. There you go. There's not many that aren't red, uh, that are an unlock. Okay, that's not an unlock. That's a challenge unlock. I'd rather go for a character unlock, to be fair. Um, I forget what's, what's some, like, what are the items that you have to unlock? There's not a ton of them, to be honest. Mum's knife's an unlock, right? How to unlock, yeah. Um, we could go Mum's Knife, I mean, it's quality 4, so it eliminates that for us. Um, yeah, uh, but is Mum's Knife a flash item? I don't actually know what Mum's Knife is from. I'm going to gamble on it anyways and hope it's not. That's from Flash as well, okay, I don't know Flash very well at all, but it's not a character unlock, so I'm pretty sure that means it's a challenge unlock, right? Um, it does have brown or grey in it, and it's not quality 4. Let's remove that, quality 4. Um, and it's not in the devil room or, like, the old chest or anything like that. Okay, this is, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Okay. Um, let's go with the repentance item now, shall we? And we're looking for something with brown or grey in it. Let's have a little think. And we're looking for these qualities here. And we're not looking for devil deal. Brown or grey in it. Um... Birthright has a bit of brown in it, and it's a... Uh... That's a character unlock as well. Wait, yeah, that, that, that's a character unlock as well. Brown or grey? I mean, I don't know, does that count as brown? That's a... Ch uh, uh, we need, like, challenge unlocks. That's a character unlock as well. I don't know what the challenge uh, unlocks are for this... Uh... For repentance. I can't remember what you unlock for the challenges. This is another thing that's pretty difficult, going through like, the unlock methods and stuff. Um, Alabaster box, maybe? No, that's just a character unlock as well. Character unlocks are all the ones where you're killing bosses. Montezuma's Revenge, I believe, is a character unlock as well. Yep. Jar of Wisps? What the hell's Bist? Be Bist. I'm guessing that's just a translation error. Suplex. This is really difficult, you know. Really difficult. Um, I Keeper's box is probably not right here, but I think I want to get a bit more on target with uh, what we know for some of the other information. So we know it's not quality 2. We know it's in the shop or secret room. We obviously know it contains brown. We know it's not repentance either. Okay, so... Let's get rid of quality 2 as well. For 0 or 3, it's not Repentance, so it's either Rebirth, Wrath of the Lamb, Afterbirth, or Afterbirth Plus, which leaves a lot. 
to be fair. And it's going to be something that's... Let's go for a shop item to be uh, to start with, I think. Let's go for a shop item passive um, that's a challenge unlock. Which I'm not entirely sure what that would be. So let's look at these ones first. I just... I don't remember what... Okay, so this is... This is potentially uh, one. Mr. Me. Oh, that's an active, though, isn't it? We're looking for a passive. School bag. During the race. What's the race? School bag. School bag seems plausible, you know? Uh, I think school bag's a good shout. Unfortunate. So now we know for a fact that we're looking at a quality zero item, which helps a lot. Uh, by the way, you do get these um, you do get these hints, but I actually don't like using the hints because ghost or silhouette is just too it's too easy. It's too easy. So it's it's a game progression unlock, not a challenge unlock from Afterbirth, Rebirth, or Wrath of the Lamb. That's quality zero. That's in the golden chest or shop. That contains brown. This is one. By the way, one of the things I really I struggle with is this description, like. These two being items, it kind of makes sense, but I wouldn't have really thought about that. It's 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 something that I'm going to make mistakes on quite a lot. Okay. So. We know it's not just brown as well now. We know it's brown and something else. That's good to know. Um, and we know it's from the shop and something else, so... Let's go with what's in the shop. This... what? <laughs> I'm very, very confused right now. <laughs> very confused indeed. It can't be Little Baggy, right? It can't be Little Baggy. That's not a... I mean, it might be Little Baggy. It might genuinely be Little Baggy. It's the only one I can see it being. This would be weird if it is Little Baggy. It is Little Baggy. As if that contains brown. I didn't think that one pill would count. But there you go. We got it. We managed to get our... Um, I, wanted, I think it was five guesses. I'd say, for me, anything... It, four guesses or under is always the goal. But normally, like, your average one is five, I'd say. But, yeah, I, don't, I tend to not use those hints that you get, but yeah, that was, that was a decent one. Nice. Okay, so now we can come back over towards Isaac itself and um, go back to game capture. One second. I apologize about the black screen. And we can actually get into a real run here. And like I said, I will try to remember to timestamp that for people so that they, uh, they can see what's going on with that. And then let's do a greed mode run as someone we haven't greed murdered as before. We could just do Tainted as Azel. I feel like we played as him recently. Um, let's go Tainted Eden Greed Mode. And by that, I mean Greed Mode. Oops. Greedier, there you go. Okay, let's try that again. And see how we progress as this guy. Because he can be a little tricky. Pretty good active item, I've got to say. And Thunder Thighs, ooh. That really puts our speed in a bad spot, so we're hoping for a uh, speed up here, but we didn't get it. Although we did get an extra penny. But our active here is 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 really, really nice. Um, because with our active, we can basically just stay in this one room and collect a bunch of... Uh, is it medical items that you get from that? So interesting stuff. And here, I mean, champion belts, of course, amazing. We've got an item in there, too. Plenty of keys to look at. There's some, there's some good stuff in here. There's some good stuff in here. Uh, I can bomb this now for... Um, a key, which is good because it's a free key. Getting free key with a free key. There you go. Um, we'll pop in here. Wow. Okay. So speed is speed is abysmal. <laughs> I've just accepted that now. That's just my life. Hey, we got a speed up though. So standing still for a little bit will give us um, some in increased stats. That should give you like herming or something as well because the increased stats are just basically worthless. Yeah, basically worthless. It's nice that you offer them to me, but I'm not really getting much out of that, I'll be honest. It's just so difficult in Isaac to stand still and still be able to hit the enemy and also not get hit yourself. It's just an incredibly, incredibly rare thing. I think the, one of the only situations I can think of it where it's common is in the Hush fight when he does the little purple and black tears. 
um, the continuum to use. You can kind of stand still during that attack, um, and you don't really have to move to dodge, and you can just fire at him because he's stationary. Oh, I completely forgot we were playing as this character. My god. I completely forgot. Okay. Our items have been miggity mixed up. Yeah, I, I honestly completely blanked on the fact that we were playing as this character there. <laughs> I got hit and I was like, what happened to my items? Wait, what 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 happened? What happened? Um, and then for the question of the day, why not? When was the last time you were extremely confused? I think extreme confusion is something that happens on the regular. Uh, but also something that's, that maybe a memory that you don't really remember all too well. But I think it's an interesting one when you get very, very confused by something. Right, we got these Peeper's Eyes doing their thing. Peeper's Eyes are actually pretty good. The, sco the Scooper is a good item. It wasn't the Scooper the thing that was in the shop behind the wall anyways. Could we could we get double Scooper going on? No, we need school back for that, but that'd be funny. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, I don't think we did a, a too bad of a job with that Isaacle. I, I think it's just a nice like warm up for the start of the day, especially if I do my runs early. In the morning, it's like a nice way to start the day to like flex your brain a little bit. Or try to. Retributions causing some errors. That's fine. Beautiful stuff. I absolutely love that fly. It's a little hard to get it to work. You've got to sort of play to its strengths, but it is pretty fun. Oh, it's kind of funny that we got rid of the uh, spacebar item peeper's eyes, but now we've got the item peeper's eye. Can you stop throwing up, my guy? This is egregious. Try jumping once in a while. There you go, look at that. It charms him and everything. All sorts of good. No devil deal, no thank you. Um, I think, honestly, champion belt is the way to go. But also, I think actually this for the HP up is pretty good too. Um, and we'll skibbity hop, skibbity skip, skibbity skip, 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 hop down to the next floor. And buy a key straight away as well, which is rather nice. Rather nice indeed. A GMO corn is very good. Thanatosis. I'm okay with Thanatosis, thank you. This reminds me of Halitosis. Um, key, thank you. Ah, there was a. There's literally a. Uh, it's a for some reason, I saw the little hand crank thing on this, whatever you want to call it, the handle. And it's, I, I saw it as a key. Ooh. Ooh, a burner baby. A stiff buddy. They knew what they were doing there, didn't they? They knew what they were doing. I like it when mods add, like, sort of pointless baby items like this. Like, they're not pointless, but, like, they're not great. Um, like, Ipecac has a few of them as well, because it's like... It, the balance of the game, the vanilla game, is kind of with that in mind. There's supposed to be a few pointless babies around. That you can get in your item rooms and your devil deal and stuff. And they're meant to be there. It's, it's part of the balance of the game. And so it's nice to... When you add a bunch of extra modded items, it throws off the general balance of the game. So you have to put in just as many bad slash kind of meh items to make sure the game doesn't get too stale by being too easy. And I will say, obviously, like I've said before, modding in this game certainly makes the game easier. Much easier. But Fiendfolio does also make it harder, so it kind of balances itself out in a way. I wouldn't say fully. I'd say overall it is still a bit easier once you learn things. But I think the learning curve for Fiendfolio is just so steep because there's just so much to learn that for most people... That's not really a problem. Fiend Folio stays hard. I'd, I'd say that realistically, I, I I'm probably like a, like 500 or so hours deep into Fiend Folio now. May, maybe a little more to be honest. Um, I, I'd probably say that I know Fiend Folio pretty well, but I, I I would still wouldn't claim that I know it in and out. I'd, I think there is still um, enemies that I come across every now and again that I'm like shit. I don't know what that enemy does. Or I don't remember exactly how that enemy works. Or I don't remember what, what that enemy does on death. And it's like, it's kind of crazy to think there's just that much content in the mod that that's even plausible. Wild. Um, Barret Surf, I guess. Car battery's good, but it won't last long. Ooh. Oh, you got the bleeding heart thing. I was like, wondering why you were spewing then. Right, basically sit him on top and get him to bomb him. And he gets charmed. Yeah, he spews out our tears when he's charmed. I forgot about that. Ooh. Oh, wow, you killed the boss. You killed your dad. 
I don't know what's going on here. There's some pastification going on that's confusing. I'm taking too much damage, I know that for a fact. What's the deal with the pasta? Ow. Ow. I'm taking some really rough damage here because I'm kind of stupid. My reactions are delayed. But do not fret, for I am getting an angel deal. And it shall make everything fine and dandy. Menorah. Good old Menorah. Right, grab that. I think I'll probably also grab this. I think that seems like a pretty reasonable idea. Um, and we will head on down. Head on down. We keep getting a lot of free pennies in our uh, transition rooms, which is not a bad thing. Alright, let's try and be a, a bit more careful now, because our health isn't great. Slipped a rib. Consolation prize. Why is that base damage so low? Why is it 1.5? It's very, very bad. Like, I was wondering why we had heal spare and we're still seemingly do doing such low damage. Because even at max heal spare, we're getting to like 3 damage. We don't have soy milk or anything, so... How has this happened? Our well, next get hit will change it up anyways. We'll see. There you go. Not get anything super great going on here. Um, what seems to be 2020 without 2020. Oh, is it, oh, I think this book gives us 2020 for the room or something. Okay, I need to be very careful. My health is very much not very good at the moment. Very much not very good. I'm shitting the bed a little. And it's fine. It's all fine. But... I could do to not get hit so much. I, I'd like to keep this uh, active item as well for the shop, but we'll see if that ends up happening. Yeah, there you go. It's it's already gone. Oh, dude, I am about to die. Do I not have tears anymore? Oh, I've, I've got Ludo. Where the fuck's my Ludo? Oh, there it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a speedy Ludo. That's a really hard to see and really speedy Ludo with a very high amount of knockback. Oh, I do not like this. This is weird. This is weird. Okay. Let's go in and buy some HP. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. I know it's a bit of a waste of my money, but I think overall it's probably for the best. Um, and then, yeah, we've got Ludo doing its thing, which... It seems pretty good on stationary targets, I can say that for sure. What is it that's making Ludo so weird? Oh, is it, it's the arrow item, isn't it? That just makes you have insane knockback, yeah. That arrow item, even though it doesn't state that it increases knockback, just absolutely fucks your knockback for some reason. It raises it to ungodly levels. But, it's doing a lot of damage to bosses right now, so I'm not going to complain. I'm certainly not complaining. We got a bit of, little bit of bloat, little bit of bloat actions. Never hurt anyone, especially this bloat. This bloat's not so bad at all. That was that was close, my guy. That was close. Beautiful stuff. Angel deal for us, maybe. Ah, devil deal, you bastard. I'll take it. Why not? I'll take them both. Fuck it. Dude, the, just, just the amount of free money we're getting from these is just obscene. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm happy with it. Should, probably should have taken this show because uh, I should have caught... Could have got two items. My god, my goddamn brain is dying. Um, I could have got two items. Which has Tainted Eden obviously would have been better. So I probably should have done that, but... What's done is done. What's done is done. Look at my shot speed as well. My shot speed's insane. Midas bombs. And using the explosion radius, get Midas touch effect. If Isaac has no bombs, one can be placed at the cost of five. This bomb is not affected by any bomb changing items. Interesting. Intriguing. Right. 
Let's carry her on with this and see what we can do. I'm kind of okay if I get hit, but also I don't think I've ever had um, Ludo with such high shot speed, and it is refreshing. It is it is actually very beautiful <laughs> just to be able to zoom my tier right towards the enemy with basically no hesitation. Something I've not not witnessed before, and I didn't realize how much I was missing it in my life whenever I've used Ludo in the past. I mean, I know shot speed's important, but I've never quite had this much, and it is refreshing. It is very beautiful. This this man needs to die. Having a really hard time killing him for some reason. There you go. Okay, this is a lot to focus on here. I'm kind of not paying attention to the enemies close to me. I'm just paying attention to where my Ludo tier is. Probably not the best idea. One of you still alive? How? Oh, there's multiple of you still alive. I think. Ah, oh, you bastard. They finally ended it. My beautiful reign of terror is over. Uh, right. I think I'm gonna go for that. I might buy the Midas Bombs, to be honest, because it's it gives you 15 cent back. So it's, it's kind of not a downside to buy it, right? Yara. Yara. We got Spirit Sword for now, okay. We unlocked Coconut Milk for getting hit there. I will take some Coconut Milk. Stay out of the way of this big boy. Fake out the brimstone, beautiful. And we can come over here, we can buy the Midas Bombs, get the money back. We can buy the lemon, I'm pretty sure we bought the lemon earlier, but we bought it back again now. This is quite high damage we've got going on here. Also we have 27 range, why? What gives us such range? Ooh, do you see that then? Stopped him right in his tracks. Beautiful. Oh, we got the big hammer. Dude! Literally every single one has given us free money. This is wild, people. This is wild. Right, the hammer's tricky, because if we get hit, we get full carded, so... Right, what we got going on in here? Good old slippy tooth. Okay. Whoa, whoa! Doing some brim snapping here. Holy fuck, there's a lot going on, on the floor there. There's a lot of wild brimstone stuff going on right now. And tech X stuff as well, apparently. You need to die, my friend. There you go. Yeah. You and your explosions are too much for me. It's, I gotta say, is that little horn dude still alive? How? Yeah, you get a bit of herming there. Luckily, you can, like, chain these enemies off one another. And walk onto their creep. Multiple times, even. Multiple, multiple times. My god, I've, uh... I've made myself into a laughing stock here. What's going on? Don't know why he sprinkled and then left the room, but I just did. What's done is done. Right. Got Bob's brain in the mix here as well. No, I fell in the hole. God damn it. I don't even know how much health I have right now. Completely lost. Completely lost. We've got two boys here. Take out the Cramperinos first. Ooh, goddamn. We got the bleed. We got the bleed going on. Bleed plus sleep is a pretty funny one.
Both very good. I will take Johnny's knives at least because it's quality 4. I don't think it sticks at quality 4, but still. Right. There's, there's a red heart in here, apparently. I should at least go and take a look at that. Yeah, no. Not something I can grab. Righty her then. Let us leave. Money again. It's literally every single floor. How, how has that happened? We only have three hearts at the moment, which isn't ideal. Um, we do have good money though now. I think I'll probably just buy the HP because that'll stick with us. I'll probably buy the HP again, you know. Yeah, the bleeding with these this piercing bleed tears thing is just very, very good. These tears are quite a strong. Especially with Spectral on top of it. It's very nice. There's so much blood on the floor as well. I couldn't possibly use it all. Just keep our distance. Make sure not to get hit by creep. To be fair, I could pick up all these and use them all, but it's just so tedious and you can't fire while you're using them, which makes them kind of a lot worse, in my opinion. When I pick them up by accident, I'll use them, but otherwise I can't be asked. Good, good. And then you're, okay, so you're gonna get wrecked, my sir. Right, HP, lovely. Okay, HP's back to actually being not bad. Which is very nice. Yeah. Just keep our distance from him. Kill the ghosts he creates. Keep an eye on. Can we deal damage to him with bleed through that phase? Okay. Got him before that happened. Oh shit, hello. Again, killing those guys before they move too much. This guy was asleep the whole time. Great. That, that, that works very well for me, to be honest. You can just sleep the night away, my guy. If you'd like to pop your head up at any moment, that'd be great. There you go. My god, there's so many Bernies to kill. Luckily, that's not too bad, and he's going to teleport to the middle soon, right? Luckily, the sleep did a really good job killing him there. Awesome. And, yeah, take some dark matter. Why not? Right, not the best HP ever, but we're looking not too bad. And I will try to go for a reroll for more HP. I'm going to buy three items here. I think it's worth it. Not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Hey, it's HP! Huzzah, huzzah! That was, that was pretty pretty lucky. That was pretty lucky. Uh, also, as well, I'll use my um, spin down on my trinket. Oh, I think my trinket is meant to be on the floor for that. Oops, I guess. No money here, though. No money here. Right, it's boss time. Tis boss time. Ooh. Very good. Uh, we want to go blank letter tile and W. Oh, wait, no, I've done the wrong one. No, no, no. Damn it, I meant to do fire, not W. So now I have to be pressing W to gain that benefit, which is not good for us. I, sh I was meant to do it on fire up, not walk up. And I got confused. Because with my high speed, it's, it's difficult for me to keep walking up and not goddamn bump into him. There shouldn't be too long of a fight though, I wouldn't think. Yeah, my bad. Very much my bad. I'm curious to see what our next reroll ends up being, because we're probably going to get hit at some point soon. Can't imagine we'll be able to stay like this forever. This, this build's doing a pretty good job right now, but... I've got something that's turning things into poop, which is kind of nice. 
I thought it was E. coli. It is just E. coli. Apparently, if those things land on you, they don't deal damage and E. coli destroys them, so that's kind of nice. We got into nearly halfway already. Made a pretty somber fight, to be honest. Pretty somber fight indeed. One second. Keep this bad bad boy moving. Had a good old Subway lunch today. Put some music on and cleaned the house. And I'm feeling real good about it. Feeling real good about it. Put a wash on and everything. Being a real adult. It's mad. It's wild. Oh my god, stop doing health, man. Stop with the health. I think I can just walk into these without taking any damage anyways. It's interesting. Weird, this room felt, felt relatively empty. I think it's just because I'm killing stuff the moment it enters the room. The moment it is alive, it is then dead. Do you know, I genuinely just had a bit of a brain fart then. I was like, oh no, I need to finish this quickly because I don't have an Isaac episode recorded for today and I need to record one. I am literally recording that Isaac episode right now. <laughs> My brain's like, hey, you need to finish this off so you can get to your main task of recording Isaac. This, I'm already doing that, brain. Why are you so dumb? Anyways, first phase is done. Not too difficult. We'll see if we can go through this guy without getting hit. This guy's got a lot less health, so it should be alright. We shall see. I'm not super, super hopeful we won't get hit, but it shouldn't matter even if we do. We've got plenty of health. Make sure we can't get to any of that money to heal up. No thank you, good sir, no thank you. The thick beams looks really, really nice with the golden beams, doesn't it? A little blacker, darker outline. It's a really nice addition. Just a really good mod. I just saw it on like the, the, the number one page. Oh, there you go, we finally got hit. Oh, this, this build is not very good. This build is not very good. And now we've got like little fire shots. I have Balor's nice though here. I don't think these little fire shots are going to do do a whole lot for us. That hit me, really? Okay. Let's be more careful. I'm only taking half heart damage though each time I get hit, so not too bad. Oh, dude. I'm getting hit too much now. Oh, we got Mum's knife here. I was like, why am I firing? Mum's knife is on the on the roster. Right, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Definitely a fun one and a good Isaacle as well. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.